Hi guys, Adrian here from Save by Grace and the Crafty Mom blog. Um, I just wanted to say hi, give you guys an update, let you know what I've been up to. I know it's been like a month since I posted anything, um, but I've just been one busy mama and I <laughs> seems like I'm just getting busier and busier. But So I wanted to update you. Um, I know on my Crafty Mom blog I was doing the Whole30. I finished that um, April 2nd, I believe. Um, the last week was so hard, um, and I had so many, like, cheats, um, with that, um, I know now why, but I just, um, so yeah, I kind of ended not how I wanted to, um, which was not surprising to me, but, um, anyways, along with that, what else, um, I got a new job, which is closer to home, and I have one day off during the week, which is great, because, I get to catch up on house cleaning, woohoo, um, projects, and then hanging out with friends. So that's been a big blessing. Um, let's see what else. And I've also, in between that time, have I wasn't feeling well for a while. I'm just really sick. You know, my allergies were really bad. Um, and so lately, I've just have been super duper tired. Um, I've been having a lot of cramps and headaches and back, lower back pain, um, even some nausea, which was really weird. And so, um, the other day, um, I was like, yeah, you know, um, my period, like it hasn't come, like it seemed like forever. So I was checking my calendar and either I wrote the date the wrong date down something was just not right it said I was four days late so I thought you know what I probably just calculated it wrong so I downloaded this period app that why didn't I think of this before like these are amazing if you go into your app store and just type in period calendar um, download that um, it's great so I downloaded that and it said I was four days late so I thought okay so I must have wrote down the wrong date so I redid the date thinking, you know, okay, it wasn't that date. So then that said I was eight days late. So I'm like, okay, so I'm late either way. But I thought, you know what, I haven't had it because, you know, stress. And, you know, I just started this job. Um, it's, you know, overwhelming learning all the new things. And so I've been stressed out because sometimes um, I've forgotten things. Like there's so much to learn. So it was just overwhelming and, you know, it can get stressful. So... Um, I thought maybe that's what it is. And then I noticed I started, um, you know, going pee a lot. So I thought, well, you know, my brother has diabetes. And I thought, well, maybe it's just um, I'm getting diabetes. And that's why I'm peeing a lot because that was one of the symptoms. And so I thought, you know what, I need to just come out of denial and... I need to just take a test and, you know, rule this out because this is not what's wrong it's just you know I'm late and so but I just wanted to make sure you know precaution's sake so um you know I was talking to my sister and she's like you know just come over and take the test so I went over there um and thank you sis and um I took the test um three minutes later it was the longest three minutes of my life oh my goodness and Sure enough, it said yes. I was like, you have got, I was like, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. This is not happening. I am not ready for this. I, you know, like all these things. I'm too old. I don't have money. I can't afford this. Um, so it was a very overwhelming feeling. I, I don't think I felt that overwhelmed in like a really long time. So, um, you know, I showed her and she just screamed. She was freaking out. Ah, I'm so excited for you. And I'm just like no way like so I showed my husband and he was excited and um my daughters were really excited <laughs> except for my younger one she's like I don't want to be a middle child and so I thought that was really cute um so yeah I were expecting baby number three <laughs> third one's a charm so I am definitely feeling pregnant um which is so weird to say because I I just, you know, it wasn't planned. I didn't, like, plan this. This is, you know, unexpected. 
um, but it's definitely a blessing. Um, I'm very excited now, and I can't wait um, until the baby comes, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, so a few of the things that I'm having as far as early pregnancy signs, which I'm definitely feeling. like, But this one's definitely different from my first ones, um, my first girls, which another thing that's really weird is they're all going to be eight years apart. Like my first daughter to my second one, they're eight, eight years apart. My little one to this one is going to be eight years apart. So that definitely is weird. Um, and my favorite number is eight. Um, I, you know, even my birthday is eight, eight. Um, and so that's just really, another weird thing is a lot of people have been telling me they've been having dreams about me having babies, um, having a baby boy. One lady even told me twins, <laughs> twin boys. So I hope that's not the case, but you know, Hey, if that's what the Lord wants me to have, then he knows I can handle that. <laughs> I don't think I can, but he, he knows more than I do. So. Um, anyways, so yeah, that's that's what has been going on with me. Um, definitely life changing. I'm I am still like in shock about it. Like I can't believe it, but it's very exciting. Okay, so on to the symptoms. So the symptoms that I have been having, not really knowing that I've been pregnant, but now I definitely know and can feel them. And sure, sorry, my camera's. It's my iPad, um, so I have it on my knees because I'm in bed. Yeah, this is my new home, my bed. Mm -hmm. So the first major sign is super duper fatigue. Like, I mean, exhausted. Like, it's just, um, yeah, overwhelming this feeling. So exhaustion, um, some morning and evening nausea which I will take over being throwing up all the time. Um, back, lower back pain, the crampiness here and there, um, tender breasts, like, oh, they hurt. Um, and that line that goes from your belly button to, you know, down there, that was the first thing I saw that was like, oh my gosh, like, you only get this when you're pregnant. <laughs> so, um, and the other thing is just feeling so hot, like I'm on fire. Excuse me, like being really hot and then really cold, like having hot flashes. So that, and, and at nighttime, like that's when I get the cramping and I can't sleep. I'm tossing from, you know, side to side. Mm -hmm. Then if I wake up too early, I'm, I'm nauseous, like, um, on my phone. And, um. So that's, those are my signs. Um, so I definitely am feeling pregnant and even my belly has popped out when, I, you know, I'm six months. I'll be due in mid-June. Um, and, and from what I can remember the last time, I don't remember being, um, I guess, showing so soon. Um, so I don't know about that. Maybe I'm going to have a boy because this one really feels different, but you know, who knows? Everyone is different. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been going through. It, um, just wanted to give you guys an update and, you know, exciting news. And if you have any tips on, um, you know, with the morning sickness or just with anything that has to do with pregnancy, um, definitely leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear comments and I love to hear um, you know, tips and suggestions and whatever. I will try to be updating soon. So I'll talk to you later. God bless. Bye. Okay, so I made a boo-boo. I said that I was six months pregnant and I was due mid-June, which that is so not possible. So what I meant to say was I'm six weeks pregnant and I'm due in the middle of January. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I put this at the end so you guys wouldn't think I'm I don't know, charted. Okay, so again, thanks for stopping by and God bless you. Bye.